now let's try to find the five lowest values. Um, we've got um, in column J the prices quoted by supplier per one parcel. And based on that, we want to select uh, five lowest prices quoted by them. We have prepared already the place in column M where we will uh, get the, the prices. And we're going to use for that the small function. So we type in equal then small. Then we select the area where we've got the prices. In our case, this is the whole column J. So I just select the whole column. And then he asks us which item he should um, get. So if I put here one, this will be the lowest one. Uh, if I uh, type in two, this will be the second lowest and so on and so forth. Obviously, since we want to save some time, we have already prepared in column L the numbers. So I just have to select the L7. We close the bracket. And in this way, we get the lowest price, which is 0 0.7. Uh, before we copy the column, we go to the formula, go to the first element and we press F4 to block the addresses. Uh, in this case, the column uh, J where we've got the uh, numbers. And now we can copy the formula. So he basically gave us the five lowest values. In row seven, we've got uh, the lowest one. In row eight, this is the second lowest third lowest, and so on and so forth. And we can finish off by calculating the average of those five lowest. So we type in average, we select the area, and we've got the average from those five lowest value. Now, if I change uh, the data in the original column J, so example, I type in 0 0.2, as you can see, the whole section has dynamically adjusted to the new data set. So this is very useful if you want to create a dynamic um, Excel that will recalculate based on new data.